new devices have broadened our ability to treat aneurysms from an endovascular perspective, allowing us to avoid an operation that needs to go through the skin and skull. 70-80% of patients with aneurysms can be treated with endovascular techniques. The mainstay of therapy from an endovascular standpoint is coiling of aneurysms. The day of the procedure, you would come to the hospital in the morning, an IV would be placed, and then you'd be brought into the treatment suite where the angiography machine or x-ray machines would be located. These procedures are done with you under general anesthesia, meaning you're fully asleep. We gain access to the aneurysm through the right leg, and then we can pass catheters through your body and directly place these inside the aneurysm. This is done using fluoroscopic control for visualization, so there is a small amount of x-ray exposure during this procedure that's carefully monitored at all times. We insert small, soft, platinum metal coils into the aneurysm. You are usually awake immediately afterward, and within about six or seven hours of the procedure, you can get up into a chair and begin to walk around your room, and most patients go home the next day. Patients usually return to full activity within one to two days with limitations of lifting less than 20 pounds for 24 to 48 hours afterward. Just like any other surgical procedure, there are some risks associated with this. Little blood clots can form on the coils themselves and that could lead to stroke. Occasionally these coils can actually puncture the aneurysm and cause bleeding. And we of course can take quick action to mitigate the amount of bleeding. There's a small risk, somewhere between maybe 5 and 15 percent, that the aneurysm may recur or the aneurysm may grow around the coils. To monitor the situation, we will keep an eye on you every six to nine months afterward for a period of about two to three years to check on your aneurysm, usually with an MRA scan. If you fall in the group where the aneurysm may recur or grow, then we would most likely offer a second treatment that frequently can be done exactly the same way. The principal advantages of the endovascular treatment of aneurysm is that it's a very short hospitalization. Patients are able to return to work in a very short period of time. And for most patients, there's really no or very minimal pain or discomfort associated with the procedure.